Good fans, welcome on in. Right here today, we've got from Adidas the first laceless boot they've produced, the Ace 16 Plus Pure Control. We're going to take a look at these, unbox them, um, compare them against some other boots on the market. Before we do it all, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to stay updated all the latest unboxing videos. Let's get right to and open up the box. So obviously, the box is a little bit different. Um, it slides open, it has this kind of chrome finish on top, the Adidas sign on the side. You open it up, you get your standard information piece. You also get a little um, card that states this has a chrome coating on the sole plate and that it's likely to uh, wear off during play. We've got extra set of insoles. So these will be the comfort insoles, they're a little bit thicker, more padding to them. And you get a boot bag and this is the standard perforated textile style bag that they include with most current releases. Then the boots themselves. So here we have the Pure Control. Very very unique boot. Instep features no Adidas branding which is first of all very unusual in itself. Comes in this green, solar green colorway. And uh, yeah obviously no laces on this boot. So it's got that nip material through the lacing um, structure that adds some extra tightness. Flip them over and there you go, there's that chrome sole plate that's likely to chip during wear, so expect that. That runs right through the heel. And it is a sprint frame. So it's the return of the sprint frame, what we've seen in the F50 series. In terms of actual fit, and obviously there's going to be a lot of questions about this, they definitely fit true to size. Um, I normally wear size 9 and this is a size 9. They're tough to put on for the first time. You're going to use these tabs. So these pull tabs that are attached. You basically pull them apart and try and slip your foot in. It is not that easy to be honest. It takes a little bit of work maneuvering to get your foot in. These are pretty heavily embedded into the uh, inner material. So I'm hoping they don't tear because if they end up tearing it's going to cause me problems trying to get in and out of the boot. Inside, and this is where the technology comes into play, as I kind of pull back the, um, the tech fit collar, you can see the knit material underneath, and that is the cage, internal cage system that keeps your foot locked down in place. So this is pretty tight, this material is pretty tight, and once you get your foot in that, that's what adds you the support around, uh, especially around the midfoot, and keeps you locked in place. And that is the key feature of this boot, and what's going to keep you trapped into place, securely, snugly into the boot. The heel has also been opened up a little bit more, so it's a little bit rounder, a little bit deeper. And this allows for um, a lockdown feel. So your heel basically slip in here. And one of the things I did was when I was trying these on, I tried to get my, my heel up. So just to test out and see how loose it would be. But, I mean, there's a little bit of movement, but as you're sprinting and trying to push off, it actually locks down in place. The structure of the boot and the design locks you down in place. So there is no looseness. And that's one of the key questions that we got about the boot. Around the ankle line, you get that tech fit collar. Again, it's a little bit tighter. It's got a stretch feel. So you have the ability to pull it out a little bit and get your foot in. So it's going to provi provide that lockdown feel. And this system itself is the key to allowing for a laceless design. There is more um, knit material through the upper, but it features this TPU covering. So unlike some other boots, basically this region right here around the tongue, you can see how this is loose. It's very stretchy. The upper itself has this TPU covering, so it is a little bit um, sturdier, and there's more structure to it. You can see as well that it, it does feature kind of dimple design, so there's some added texture for touch and control on the ball, and that runs right through and across the uh, forefoot into the instep. So this material is pretty sturdy. Um, it's not what plays a role in that lockdown f uh, fit or feel. It adds some durability the way Adidas have designed the TPU to, to cover. And real quickly now I think it's a good time to bring in another boot. And I'm going to bring in the Magista Obra because it is another control style boot. 
that features a similar style design. And the funny thing about this is when I got these originally, people asked, well, can you wear these without laces? And I kind of tested them without laces. Not this particular pair because it's brand new, but another pair. Um, and I was able to wear them without laces. There was some slippage, but in general, I could run around. I could jog around the field without the laces in play. So Adidas have opted up by adding that um, internal cage system, and that really adds a more secure fit. But the upper of this boot is more of a knit feel, so it's a little bit more pliable. And again, you get that knit through the um, the tongue region. It's the very same style design. The only difference is the fact that the, the uh, Mika collar is, is higher up on the Magista Obra. So you're basically talking about it being cut around this region right around here. So that's how much extra you have on the Magista Obra. Um, and as I said, the opera itself is a lot more pliable, so you don't get that TPU style feel in play. But they are definitely a similar style boot, and it would only take a little bit of modification for Nike to be able to turn this into a laceless also. Also inside the boot, and this is uh, useful to know after you take them off. So taking them off is nearly as tough as putting them on. Um, Adidas include this little gadget, little widget that you use. Um, it's kind of like a shoehorn, so you, as your foot starts to move out, you basically slip this in behind and you use it as leverage to kind of like pry your ankle out of the boot. Very, very useful. I've used this pretty much every time I've put these boots on. Um, and it's a, again, it's a gadget you're not going to, you're, you're not going to want to lose. You're going to want to use it each time you slip the boots off. Uh, a lot more that needs to be covered in these boots, obviously. Um, the sole plate, as I said, has got that chrome. Those conical studs are going to be ideal for AGFG surfaces, and that's exactly where um, Adidas has advertised them for use, as you can tell by the little tag that was on the, the lacing. Suitable for firm ground, artificial ground. Um, are they going to overstretch is another key question I've got from people. I can't really see it because there is the, the actual structure, the sidewall structure, is that TPU material. So and, and it's so tight around the ankle. So there might be a little bit of stretch, but I don't see it overstretching. Definitely not because of this TPU structure that's in place. Other questions. Um, yeah, as I said, like ordering, I would definitely go through the size. I've, I'm wearing a size 9 right now, and I feel pretty perfect. Width-wise... They do offer a nice um, wide fit through the forefoot, and that's thanks to the sole plate. The weight is definitely being dispersed by that larger surface area. But the problem is trying to slip your foot under the boot. So if you have a wider fit, you're going to find it more difficult to get your foot in. That's my only concern. For narrow fitting players, you're going to be fine as well because of that, that structure that's in place. As you can see right now, um, just that area through the midfoot, it's pretty tight as it is. It has the ability to stretch a little bit. But slipping your feet in shouldn't be too much of an issue and you'll feel pretty comfortable in the boots if there's any other questions you want answered please hit up the comment section down below i'll try and get them answered for you guys this has been a quick unboxing of the adidas um, ace 16 plus uh, pure control definitely appreciate thumbs up as i said guys until next time thanks for tuning in to watch